Hello and welcome to Select 10. In this video, we will review the top 10 finest and lesser known action films to provide action enthusiasts with something fresh to watch. Here is a fresh list of classic, contemporary, and underappreciated action films that you should watch. We won't include any well-known or frequently suggested films because you may have already seen them all. And feel free to leave a comment if we missed any underrated films that deserve more attention. Now let's start the video. Number 10. Lou. It is a 2022 action thriller film, directed by Anna Forster. The main focus of the story is a mysterious woman, named Lou, who has a dark past as well as strong analytical capabilities. However, soon she finds her peaceful life turned upside down when a mother named Hannah urges her to rescue her abducted child. In the aftermath, they begin their search and set off in quest of the abductor, an intense hurricane surges, and both ladies endanger their own safety on a rescue attempt that will challenge their boundaries and reveal chilling and horrifying truths concerning their pasts. This is the film's core topic, and the suspense about who kidnapped Hannah's daughter is nicely backed by some excellent action. Overall, it is a praiseworthy suspenseful action thriller, supported by solid performers and an engaging yet confusing narrative. If you're looking for logic or a serious tale, you might not enjoy this movie very much, but if you're looking for an entertaining action thriller, this will do the trick. Number 9. Run All Night. It is an action thriller film, directed by John Cole at Sarah. The story focuses on a veteran hitman named Jimmy Conlon, who is a close buddy of the violent mob leader, Sean McGuire. Jimmy is currently plagued by his previous misdeeds, as well as a police detective, who has been on his tail for over 30 years. However, when his distant son ends up being a criminal network's target, Jimmy is compelled to confront a deadly enemy in order to defend his kid by all means. To make it through the night, he and his son Mike have to remain away from the criminal gangs, dishonest police officers, and hired assassins. I've said many times in previous top 10 action movie films videos that you don't need anything else in an action movie, if it stars Liam Neeson, Jason Statham, or Sylvester Stallone, their on-screen personalities and action will keep you entertained the entire time. The story is standard, with excellent cat and mouse chase moments, and it is worth a watch for action movie fans. Number 8. The Swordsman. It is a period action film, directed by Choi Jae-hoon. The story is centered around Taeyeol, the greatest sword fighter in Joseon, who works as King Gwangi Gun's guard and declines to take part in an uprising by the king's highest ranking officials, who think the king has become too fragile to govern the country against foreign attackers. When one of the rebel commanders invites him to a fight, Taeyeol's blade breaks and iron fragments penetrate his eyes, rendering him blind. In the aftermath, Taeyeol is stripped of his duties and leaves his city's suffering by going into exile. However, he is forced to take his sword out of retirement to defend his daughter after she is taken hostage by smugglers. The sword fight moments are amazing, particularly the last combat clash, which is truly phenomenal. The background score is simply fantastic, and the continually engaging plot further elevates the film's quality and its most important scenes, and it is a must-see on this list. Number 7. VFW. It is an action horror film, directed by Joe Bagos. The plot revolves around a group of senior soldiers who risked their lives to protect a young woman, hiding out in a nearby VFW station from a crazy drug lord and his ruthless gang of punks. They take drastic measures to defend the helpless girl and have to employ each tool within their reach to shield the girl and themselves from a seemingly constant attack, turning their normally routine night into a full-scale struggle for survival. The movie is a nasty old-school action-packed drama that keeps you on the edge of your seat. The premise is straightforward and fairly predictable, but the chaotic action makes the film a lot of fun to watch. Number 6. Escape Plan. It is a prison action thriller film, directed by Mikkel Hafstrom. The story is about Ray Breslin, who is skilled at breaking into prisons and escaping from them. Later, after his most recent job results in a betrayal, he is trapped in a technologically advanced prison, containing the absolute worst criminals in the world. To save himself, Ray must use his abilities in order to flee, and fortunately, he aligns with Emil Rotmer, a convict who discreetly assists him in crafting a plan to secure his release. However, nasty Warden Hobbs challenges their efforts and prevents them from successfully escaping the prison alive. The movie also had two sequels, neither of which fully lived up to the standard this one had set. However, you can check out the sequels if all you want to see is action. Sylvester and Arnold in action, what more could we want? The entire escape strategy was quite creative, and the action was just too fantastic. 
Number 5. The Killer. It is an action thriller drama, directed by Choi Jae-hoon. The plot follows Yui Gang, a retired hitman, who is living happily until one day his girlfriend visits Jeju Island and leaves him with a request. Her request is that her traveling partner has a daughter, Yoon Jae, who is going to be left alone throughout their three-week trip, and she begs him to look after her until their return. Ui Gang hesitantly agrees to care for Yoon Jae while making sure she doesn't run into any problems. But things change when she gets into trouble and engages in some bad decisions before she understands them. She unexpectedly finds herself in a scenario far more frightening than she could have thought possible, but her kidnappers are also going to find themselves in a situation beyond what they are capable of handling when the Ui Gang arrives to bring her home. The film is a hybrid of John Wick and The Night Comes for Us. While it is not as good as those films, it is jam-packed with great action and a fast-paced story. Number 4. Death Race. It is a dystopian action film, directed by Paul W.S. Anderson. If you're a real action film admirer, chances are you've either watched or at least heard of this movie. This is not a spectacular or out-of-the-box story, but it is absolutely one that you should see. The story focuses on racing champion Jensen Ames, who is imprisoned on Terminal Island, the harshest prison in the nation, after being falsely accused of killing someone. But he is given an unforeseen opportunity for redemption when the prison warden gives him the option to participate in the death race as a legendary driver named Frankenstein or remain in prison forever. With no other way to escape the prison, Jensen agrees to drive in a car fitted with firearms and missile launchers and must withstand a horde of dangerous inmates in order to obtain his own freedom or die attempting. The film's most impressive aspect is its mind-blowing race and action segments, which are wildly shot and provide a unique experience. Do not miss it, it is very entertaining. Number 3. Angel Has Fallen. It is an action suspense film, directed by Rick Roman Waugh. The plot centers on Secret Service operative Mike Banning, who is falsely detained in connection with President Alan Trumbull's unsuccessful killing attempt. In order to establish his innocence, he flees from the authorities and then must elude the FBI and his private organization in order to locate the genuine danger to the president. In his haste to learn the truth, he quickly turns to unlikely companions to help him clear his name, protect the nation from impending danger, and attempt to find the actual issue that is hidden, while also exposing the deep political relationships and links to the White House. It is the third movie in the Has Fallen series, and it is without a doubt the best of the trilogy and one of the year's best action films. Although the plot may seem predictable, it differs from previous similar action films in how it plays out. Additionally, you are not required to have watched the prior two films to enjoy this one. It is a must-see for its action, because the action segments shine out thanks to the outstanding execution. Number 2. Dog Soldiers. It is an action horror film, directed by Neil Marshall. This is undoubtedly a terribly underrated film that deserves more attention. The story takes place during a nighttime military drill, where a small group of officers who were expecting to meet up with a special operations force find themselves in a gruesome bloodbath with a lone survivor. The vicious killers of the special operations squad make a comeback, and an environmentalist who saved the guys labels the hunters as werewolves. Astonished and beyond belief, and on top of that, they have no means of transportation or contact, the group must withdraw to a ranch while they wait for the full moon to subside. What they had thought to be an educational assignment quickly transforms into a life-or-death struggle with the unlikeliest enemies. The story will make you think of the Predator films, because, in those films, aliens versus humans, here, werewolves versus humans are in conflict, while most of their setting is almost the same. The film is predictable, but it excels in the fear and action scenes, and the fact that it does not feel like a typical werewolf movie is a plus. Number 1. Deepwater Horizon. It is a 2016 biographical action disaster film, based on the Deepwater Horizon explosion in the Gulf of Mexico. The plot was inspired by a catastrophe that occurred when the Deepwater Horizon drilling vessel blew up in the waters of the Gulf of Mexico on April 20, 2010, where numerous workers died in the aftermath of the enormous explosion. Chief electrical expert Mike Williams and his co-workers are at the center of the main plot as they struggle to survive, as temperatures and fire grow oppressive and unbearable. During the incident, co-workers come together in the hopes of surviving the chaos and must use their wits to stay alive. The movie makes an effort to dramatize the accident and depicts possible occurrences as well as factors that might have led to the disastrous incident. Due to the subjects it covers, it is not a pure action movie. 
It is a heartfelt story and a tribute to those who survived these difficulties while still having an exceptional, riveting survival element with some good action. That's it for today, thank you for watching this video. And do subscribe our channel to see more videos related to movies and series suggestions.